Okay, so I got to Cleverly. Um, Karina and Molly were down in the pub waiting for me. So I went and met them down there. And it was like just a downhill climb down a pebbled street. It's a really, really cute place. Really cute place. If you um, do this path, then make sure you just take a trip down there. You don't have to walk back up there because you can get a Land Rover back up the hill for £2.50 if you don't want to add any extra hard miles on. And then it's a bit late now because we had some food and we had a drink and stuff. So we drove to Heartland Point and we're going to go, we're going to walk now from Heartland Point to Heartland Quay and back. And then in the morning we're going to walk from Heartland Point here because we're going to try and find somewhere to camp here. And then we're going to walk to Cloverley and back. So then we've done that bit, but back we've done it backwards, we've done it a bit weird. And then that's that bit of the section of the thing done. But waiting again. I thought she would be behind me by now, but she's not. Um but if I just show you where like we get so if I just turn the camera around I'll show you Lundy Island. Oh here she comes. Three hours later. This is England. We're in England right now, and this is what we're looking at. It's just stunning. Molly, what just happened? Why are you on the floor? <laughs> are you going to tell everybody why you're on the floor? Um, I tripped over. <laughs> and how many times have you tripped over now in front of me? Quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big hole, okay? And that was your average coastal path. Mm. Pathway. Look at that. That's amazing. Check out this cliff face, it's amazing. Oh my god, I just found my new house. Look at that. What are they called? Static caravan there. And then we turn around and this is their view. Two questions. How the hell did they get up there? And how much is it? So I'm saying that this here, this bit of flat land that I'm on, is quite a cool spot to camp tonight. Karina likes to think otherwise. She says that we might have a small problem by camping here tonight. The cliff bit that's fallen off, she's a bit unsure of. Look how incredible this place is. Okay, this is definitely by far my favourite bit so far. It's amazing. I love exploring. I love climbing down that. So today, I think I've made a mistake. <sighs> it's now probably about eight o'clock in the evening. I'll turn away from the sun. So it's now probably about eight o'clock in the evening. I left Buck Mills at about 10. And then it took me about two hours to get to Coverley. So yeah, I left Buckmills at 10, I got to Cloverley at about 10 past 12. And then I made a mistake there because I went down into Cloverley. So I didn't need to go into Cloverley, but then 
See, well, see, it's not a mistake really, but basically I've just done way more miles than I needed to do today because I walked from Buck Mills to Coverley and then the idea is then to walk from Coverley to um, Hartland Point or Coverley to Hartland Quay. So behind me, there, that is Hartland Point, okay? In front of me, where the building is, that hotel, that is Hartland Key, okay? So today, I walked from Buck Mills to Coverley, and then I didn't walk from Coverley to Hartland Point because I thought it was going to be too long, okay? So I thought, okay, well, what we'll do is we're going to go. I didn't think, no, so this is the thing, I didn't think it was going to be too long. I made the mistake of going to Coverley, going to the pub and having some food. So then I thought, okay, now I'm not going to be able to complete that many miles because it's two o'clock, it's getting late, etc, etc. I won't be back until, I won't be back at the Heartland Point until about seven, eight o'clock. Not that that's an issue. I've just messed up today completely. So I've now missed out Coverley to Heartland Point and I'm going to walk that tomorrow. Instead, I went to Heartland Point and I walked all the way to, to, to here. Down there. But we had the dog with us. So the dog was getting too hot, so the dog went back. What I should have done is say, OK, I'm going to carry on and then you meet me at Heartland Quay. And I didn't. And I'm pissed off at myself because I just never go with what I want to do. I do. I, I go with what I want to do all the time. But I never just... I should have just done what I had in my head. First of all, I should have walked from Coverley to fucking Heartland Point. But I didn't. So I've got to do that tomorrow now. I'm annoyed with myself. I don't know if you can tell. So instead, I walked from Heartland Point to down there and then back again and then we went to Heartland Key to try and find somewhere to camp for the night and then I was like well I don't really want to have to do this walk in the morning and then go back there so I'll do this walk quickly I've done this walk and it's fucking it's a three mile walk so now I've done two miles that way and four miles this way when it's a three mile walk so I've done what I was going to do that I didn't, I doubted myself that I couldn't do there. I've done here. Anyway, my point is, don't doubt yourself. Just go with what you think you can do. I knew I could have done it. I should have fucking done it. I doubted myself and now I've got to fucking go back and do it tomorrow. Anyway, on a better note, this is by far the best walk I've done. So actually it's quite nice that I get to see it both ways so I got to see, see all of that one way and then I got to see it all the way back I get to see all the well I'm not looking forward to this one all the way back because it's fucking steep hills but it's beautiful that's my rant over I'm sorry about that just yeah go with your gut don't let fear get in the way you can do it don't listen to anyone else but yourself Beautiful place, stunning place. Now I've got to go back to the car and find somewhere to park and camp the night. I found a good spot. I think it's private land, but I found a good spot. Let's see how that goes. It's just stunning. Like, just look how flat that cliff is. And that one. Look at the hill I've got to climb. Oh, the moon's out too. Oh, and there's a seagull. House. Okay, sorry, I'll shut up now. So I was wearing a vest off earlier because it was nice and cool. Well, it was nice and hot and I wanted to top up my tan. And it's got a bit cooler now because it's the evening. 
and I just realised how bad this t-shirt stinks. I wore it yesterday and then I thought oh, I'll just stick it on tonight to finish this bit off and it fucking reeks. I'm in desperate need of a shower. So I had a shower, I had a wash in a public toilet this morning but the amount I, I sweated yesterday on that walk and then today it's not good. Look at all these, what are they? They're like baby cows. Oh my god, they're well cute. I think they're baby cows. Okay, they're not baby cows. They're just grey sheep. Do you know what I've decided? I think I'm about 100 miles in. But I've decided, I've just decided, just now, that I really enjoy walking. It's lush. So we got back into Cloverly last night about 10, half 10-ish. I was hungry, I was tired. And I just wanted to sleep lying flat. So I got in a mood and I didn't sleep in the car. I slept in front of the car on this floor with my sleeping bag and a roll mat. I was until about three o'clock in the morning when some drunk people were walking by and I got scared so I got back in the car. Anyway, got up late, stayed in the car until about nine, half nine. Just went and had a wash in the public toilets. Make myself to try and make myself feel a bit better because I absolutely stink. And now I'm having tea and pasta for breakfast and then I'm gonna walk Cloverly to Heartland Point. And then we've done that section, and then it'll be Heartland Key to Bude, I think, is the next section. So it's now half past 12, and I'm only just starting. Yeah, so it's now half past 12, I'm only just starting my walk. We um, had breakfast, pasta, tea, about 10 o'clock. Which way the fuck do I go? Oh my god. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. How do I get through that? Are you walking the coast path? No, I'm only doing a little bit of a I know, it's a little bit blocked off. I'm a little bit scared. It's got loads of cows. done that if that guy wasn't there to help me through he was a bit there's massive there's a massive herd I get scared because once me and my mate almost got attacked by cows on Dartmoor but anyway we made it through that's the most randomest thing I've seen on this walk so far, it's just in the middle of nowhere. Random. Just look. Look how stunning this place is. I think I've said that about 20 million times on this leg of the journey. And the more and more I'm walking this, the more and more I'm thinking, oh, maybe next year I can just kayak around it. Because there's so many amazing, like, little coves, little, like, beaches. Be awesome. Might have a little, little bit more of a think about that one. <sighs> just made my first mistake. Well, I think it was my first mistake. Walked three, well, third of three, a third, three quarters, three quarters. I just walked three quarters of the way in the wrong direction. 
I'm not even sure going back this way if it's going to lead me to the right direction. I'm going to get there and decide. Okay, back on the right track. And these fucking normal supplies won't leave me alone. I think I need a shower. I just ran up my break point. Not because I wanted to, do, but the fucking horse flies fucking all over me. I don't know whether it's because I stink of sweat or they're just fucking attracted to me. I'll show you where I fucking ran. You see where those cows are? I've come through that field and as soon as I got there, I had to run all the way down here. Then all the way fucking up this hill. I think it almost killed me. That point over there is where I walked across it this morning. I hope there's not much more of a hill to go up. They seem to be a fired one on my leg then. Fucking buzzing. Right, I'm gonna go because I didn't want them to get me. Almost there. Okay, I'm actually shaking. Like the scariest thing ever just happened. So I was walking through that field. Up there. See where all those cows were? So earlier on, I walked through that massive herd of cows with that guy. Okay, so I thought, oh yeah, it'd be okay to walk through that, that herd. They were all sat on the grass. And then as I was strolling past them, I wasn't even that close to them, one by one they started to stand up. And I was fucking shitting myself because then they started to follow me. And they followed me all the way to where they are now, where I walked down that thing. See where they are? They literally just watched me and followed me. And I was so fucking scared. I don't even know if I've come the right way. Oh fuck, I don't even know if I've come the right way. I don't want to go back up there now because I'm too scared. All right, I'm just going to read that sign again. But yeah, is that a normal thing? The cows follow you around the field? Because that's what just happened to me. I'm pretty sure I went the right way. I'm gonna go this way. I don't wanna go up there. Fuck. I think that's so fucking weird. Don't you think? The cows follow you to the end. Like, they literally, all of them. All of them. Followed me. To the end of the field. What is that about? Apart from giving me a fucking heart attack. Oh. Anyway, I think I'm going the right way. I need another way. And there's a fucking horse fly!